Mr. Vice President, this is a very important moment for the European Parliament to express its concerns on the economic and social priorities for the European Union over the next year. Uh, yes, there are some signs of some recovery, but still a mild recovery. And uh, my question is about the strategy to foster growth in Europe we can see that so far the strategy is mainly led by exports. Of course, we need to have a competitive economy, but we believe this is the right moment also to uh, invest more on domestic demand. We need to foster European domestic demand, and this means, first of all, to push for more investment, private, public investment, this also means to encourage consumption, particularly coming from middle classes and those who are more impoverished. So uh, we call for a new policy mix where investment is really at the top, where reforms are needed, but reforms should be uh, focusing mainly on growth potential, innovation, education, energy transition, also making sure that we can keep sustainable uh, social welfare systems. And uh, to add to this policy mix, we should also focusing on reducing social inequalities. So this means a very active social policy. And we think that fiscal consolidation, yes, this should be pursued, but in such a way is consistent with these previous goals. Well, I would say that uh, this new policy mix should be particularly applied in the Eurozone, and that's why we need to uh, reduce macroeconomic and macro-social imbalances we do have in the Eurozone, which are undermining its long-term sustainability. Well, the European Parliament will be uh, very active all over this cycle of the European semester, will come with a strong and clear position before the Spring European Council. But let me tell you, uh, Mr. Vice President, that we are also uh, concerned with the recent package presented by, by the Commission because we think that the European Parliament should be better involved when designing the new instruments, uh, competitiveness boards, European Fiscal Board, the way for the Eurozone uh, to manage its external um, representation, and finally, the way to uh, conduct the European semester with a proper interinstitutional agreement.